Hey there folks, my name is Shook, and I, for some strange bizarre reason, have decided to start yet another game on my channel, Kerbal Space Program. Um, yeah, so I, as many people have heard about it from, uh, Kurt J. Mack uh, has done this on his, on his uh, channel for about a year and a half, uh, well before I started watching him. But I enjoy watching this series. I've learned a lot from it. And uh, decided to actually try the game out. I actually enjoyed it, so I decided why not give this a try? Recording it. A Kerbal Space Program is an indie uh, crowdfunded game. They've been working on it for about two, two and a half years now. It's not sure if it's an alpha or if it's in beta, but it's. Quite a lot more of a game than many games that, you know, full release games are right now. So, yeah, pretty much your goal is to get these guys. This is a Kerbal, Kerbal Knot, out into the vast reaches of space and learn things about that space. So let's start the game. What really made me interested in it was when I saw the... Uh, the uh, career mode added to it so I decided yeah I definitely gotta try that out so I've already got a, a saved a saved game there but I I will start a new one for for this say so why T shook it's uh you know what I'll keep the default flag why not Nah, Kerbin. Yeah, we, we're, we come from Kerbin. We come in relative peace. We only bring simple squabbles about simple things. So I don't know why I'm just randomly clicking on stuff from the get-go. That's normally a bad idea in anything that deals with a spaceship, real or fake. Um, this right here is the space place of business, I guess you could say, uh, kind of like NASA, the uh, a, a uh, other world type NASA, and, and it's on its very first legs of space travel. That's the whole goal. Right here is our tracking station, which I already clacked, uh, clacked on. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, this is Kerbin. This is the moon. Not accidentally spelled that way. It's spelled that way on purpose. Minmus, the uh, second plan uh, second moon of Kerbin. You can come on out. And we have a whole solar system to explore. There's Moho, Eve, Kerbin, Duna, Dress. Uh, Jewel and Elu. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyway, I felt like I was, like I was counting it uh, up to... It sounded like I was counting in a, some strange foreign language there. <laughs> the way I sang it, so... Hmm. Now we go back to here. And this is... Where the career mode comes into. This is our science tree. We have to do research to, to be able to unlock new things. These are all the parts that we can use to build rockets. And when we get five more science, just five, we have access to even more parts to do more things. So, yeah. This will be a very... Come on, close, thank you. So this is a this right here is a crucial, crucial place that we have to deal with. Here's all the astro astronauts that we can train uh, or come uh, have a uh, come with us. <clears throat> Billy Bobbler Kerman, that's a very fascinating name. Uh, think 
<laughs> hmm, ship wise. Wonder if there's a Mo and a Larry Kerman. Here's the space plane hangar, which I probably won't be dealing with. <clears throat> and there right there is the launch pad, which is very important, but we will go here first. Here's where, here's where it all begins. I don't know why I'm trying to, this is where you construct. Okay, yeah, I can't load any ships from my other saves. That's cool. This is where you construct the, the projectiles, the space projectiles. And, uh, as I said, I'm just started playing this game tonight. Or a little bit ago, I should say. So I'm a little bit new to it myself. Uh, but I have watched Kurt play a bit, so... Uh, I should go ahead and say if you... If this game does seem interesting to you, and want, you want to see more, go to his channel, because he knows more about this than I do. You will see that first off. Uh, without a doubt, I will say stuff that sounds like I know what I'm talking about, and that is because I've been I've watched his stuff. So, yeah, we've got a space. Well, we've got a rocket. It's not a space rocket. It's it's a rocket. So, let's name this. Maiden Voyage. It ain't gonna be much of a voyage, but it, it'll be something. Alright, so the crew. Good old Jebediah Kerman. This guy, this guy's nuts. This guy's crazy. He's so happy, even. He's happy in all situations. This game plays quite a lot better. Uh, I downloaded a demo when I had my other computer, but so it is definitely doing a lot, lot better than it did before. But it's still not perfect. Um, yeah. So hopefully, I'm, I have to turn down some of the things to have it working all right. But hopefully, that's not a problem. Here it is on the launch pad. Here is Jebediah. So let's have him. Uh, let's have him go. Let's not waste too much time. Let's throttle up. All right. Yeah, that was a uh, sticky keys. Haven't been eating any candy, but uh, had a suffering issue with sticky keys. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. Now let's get this guy into space. Let's throttle up. What was confusing me was uh, it's taking a while to throttle up. It's supposed to be pretty immediately, I thought. But we are now throttled up. Let's look around. Be like, well, bye guys. I'll be back in a minute, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die. And without any more further ado, three, two, one. We have we have a, an issue of, 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 of some grade. We have some grade of issue. Um, um, hey, uh, um, what do you think of this, the situation, crew report, crew report, give me a crew report, a crew report, what do you think, Joe, do you, do you, do you think that this is a good thing, shores are inviting, get that data, okay, well that's good, I'm glad those shores are inviting, down 
Throttle down. Throttle down. Okay. All right. Well. So, what do you think of things out here, Jail? I, I decided to turn some of the graphics up a little bit more, but yeah, that, it seems like that's already a mistake. I'll turn them back down in just a minute. Okay, well, EV report. I don't think a spacey was entirely necessary to get here. Agreed. Let's take a. This substance is what makes the scientists yell at us when we go into the lab without cleaning our boots first. Ah. Alright, well, I guess we don't have any choice but to recover the vessel. See what sorts of science we have now. Not bad, actually. Oops. Let's not do that quite yet. Let's go over here. Ah. Let us recover the uh, the, the, the debris and stuff. Oh, and we get another 8.5 science. Sweet. Sweet. So how much science do I have? I have... Oh, that gummit, that's what I just clicked on. Anyway, I will be back in just a moment. I will get the graphics sorted back out and we will do the science then. Now it's time to see what all fun science stuff we can do. We can do that one. These cost 15. Urgh. It's like they planned this. To make it kind of difficult. Uh, planning. Sometimes it works against you. All right. Well, let's let's try to have us a successful flight. I, I had a successful flight earlier. I, I, I promise you, I did. All right, now let's. We're not gonna do anything fancy this time. Let's just try to get a little bit more. Ooh, we have Mr. Goo. This is a science, a science item. It helps give you science. Let's get a an antenna. That way we can radio back any findings that we do. Now let's be smart here. Let's fix the staging. Okay. This goes off. I'm gonna hit space. And then whenever I hit space again. Ooh, do I have a decoupler? I don't have a decoupler. Okay, we're gonna hope for the best then. When I hit space again, it opens the parachute. Now I think we're good. Anything else over here? Anything else? We do have a decoupler. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Drag, okay. So we hit space. The engines go off. Next time we hit space, this and this detaches. Or that. That detach. Yeah, okay, that and that detaches. Hit space again. It deploys the parachute. It ain't gonna be anything crazy. Like last time. This will be called the real maiden voyage. Not like that fake maiden voyage. This is a real one. Let's go to the launch pad. The quack. 
Yeah, there's nothing really I could say about the the last part of that statement. And nobody really should have anything to say about it either. Let's go ahead and get a pre pre flight EVA. Let's try to get as much science as possible. You record the cruise assessment. Let's radio that in. Hopefully we will have a much better uh, report later. All right, we are throttled up in three, and a two, and a one, and a last off. Ooh, turn on SAS. Ooh, crap. Um, oh crap. Uh, SAS. If we. It helps assist in keeping the spaceship going all crazy and going everywhere. Oh, back, back, let's aim straight up now. We're going up at 150, oh, 160 meters per second. We're getting on up there. happy. I wasn't looking earlier because, you know, I was kind of sort of panicking. But, uh, I think he was probably pretty happy then. Observe. Oh, okay, it's... The goo jiggles and wobbles at the, as the craft flies. Okay. Good for it. We're going to jiggle all you want to. Let's go to the map. According to this, we're going to have an apoapsis of, of getting on up there. Let's throttle down. I don't think that was too much. Let's throttle down more. And more. Now, how are we? Eight. Almost 8,000 meters. We hit 8,000 meters. Woohoo! I don't think we're going to space in this episode, but it is very much it's a possibility, but a unlikely possibility. Alright, I've heard that hitting over 200, uh, meters a second before you hit 10,000 is a bad thing to do. Ah, now we're getting on up there. I don't think it'll be enough. Let's throw down just a tad. Try to save as much fuel as possible. Oh, it's getting on up there. Come on. Let's try to save as much as possible. We're still accelerating. Oh, we might do it. I it's getting my hopes up. It's just getting them up. To get them down. That's all it's doing. Blasted game. Come on. Come on. 70,000. Is a. Uh, is space. Oh. What's that? It sounded like an explosion. Why did it sound like a why did it sound like an explosion somewhere? I don't like the sounds of explosion. Oh my gosh! Oh crap! We're gonna do it! Space! Cut the engine. Cut cut cut. Start the engines. Start the engines. Miscalculation. Start the engines. Okay, good. I don't have to have them very high, but I have to have them on. Uh, as I said, um, okay, crew report. What do you think? What do you think, Job? You think enough for three point five cents? I will take it for now. Oh. 
get into orbit. No, well, we're not gonna make it to orbit. That is not gonna happen. We don't have any fuel, so. So it, it ain't happening. Oh, it's dropping. Wait, is it dropping? Oh, wait, no, I'm moving up. Oh. <laughs> I'm moving that way. That is why it makes it. Well, I thought I was dropping. Ooh. Ooh. Q. Wait. Having some lag issues and the music. Cue the music. We are in outer space. The vacuum. We are in the vacuum of space. Crew report. What you think, Jelb? It seems that we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Cool. Let's, uh... Have them step outside for just a brief minute. Do not let go. Do not let go. EVA report. You've recorded your observations about the situation. Keep that data. We are bringing it back home. We hope. I think we're bringing it back home. Did I already do this? Mm, we're gonna keep the data, right? Yeah, we're gonna keep that data. We'll make it. We'll make it back to back up here eventually. I think it's gonna be too much of an issue. We are still going up. Where is that? That is moon. The moon, right? Oops. Um. No, I don't want to add maneuver. How do I set? How do I set it as a target? I mean, I I want. Okay, I guess that did it. I don't know if it's because I'm recording, but it hadn't been doing it this bad. Very well might be possible. I, will ha I might have to finick finick around with the settings some more. For now, let's... Ah. Gotta throw it down all the way. Let's speed things up. We hit the atmosphere, it'll slow down. How much? Mm, we don't have much electric charge, so. Yeah, we're going to keep the one that he's got. It would definitely be the wise thing to do. Let's go ahead and get away from that, which I almost forgot. Hopefully the mystery goo will not go into the that island there and blow up. Hopefully it will be intact for, for us to recover later. We're going at 300 meters per second, slowing down those, which is good. Haven't quite figured out whether or not uh, I have to I have to hit the uh, space bar again to get the parachute deployed. I haven't figured that out yet, but this is a learning process as I keep this rolling. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna get out. We're gonna get to the moon. We're gonna get to Duna, which is Mars. We're gonna get on out there. It's 
and there will be many, many moments of of uh, destruction and uh, disaster along the way. And I need the parachute to to deploy. I think it does it about 500 meters. I hope it does. I hope it does. Yay. And now we travel to the ground, to the ocean. Next to a big, big rock. A big rock island. That's what, it, that's what this place is called, Big Rock Island. And, uh, We are going to celebrate the first space flight of Kerbal Space Program. I made it to, I uh, didn't make it to the stars, but I made it to, made it past the atmosphere. And let's go ahead and recover the vessel. Twenty-one science, not bad not bad at all <clears throat> let's see if I can track down the any debris uh oh, it didn't it didn't survive uh, the goo has gotten away from me it's like I've used the uh, goo gone wow oh hey whoa I didn't know you could do it oh you can move it around in here oh cool cool Let's uh, see what we can do. What do I need to do? Uh, I really don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't have to decide. Screw decisions. You do both. <laughs> so... Yeah, I hope you folks enjoy this. <clears throat> I will, uh, probably won't do this, you know, but a couple episodes a week. But it is a very nifty game. Uh, it's, they are still doing a lot of work on it. So it will should only get better. As crazy as it is. And, uh. I shall see you in another one. Farewell there, folks.